125,000. That's how many refugees the Biden administration wants to admit to the U.S. every year. But the administration says the actual numbers fall far short of that. CBS 2's Sarah Maki joins us now from the newsroom with how a new national program could change that. Sarah? It's called the Welcome Corps in the State Department. They launched it today. It's a pilot program giving private U.S. citizens a way to sponsor refugees. But is it enough? Well, we asked some people working in that field. A small group gathers to watch the Arabian Gulf Cup soccer match Thursday morning at the Westridge office of the Middle Eastern Immigrant and Refugee Alliance. Their own rare timeout after years of being stretched thin. Getting to this point took a lot and it was very chaotic. Executive Director Laura Youngberg remembers the tense and exhausting weeks when they were trying to keep up with the crowds of people looking to leave Afghanistan in 2021. That's why she signed a letter of support when word of a new program came into her inbox. Yeah, literally at 1042 a.m. That's when I got the email. The U.S. State Department launching the Welcome Corps. During the first pilot year, the goal is to mobilize 10,000 Americans to step forward as private sponsors and help resettle at least 5,000 refugees. You need groups of people who are really united in the mission. Tan Tan's group, Viets for Afghans, sponsored 59 refugees as part of a pilot for the Welcome Corps. It can sound daunting to become a sponsor for a family. You don't have to do it alone. Find a group of people, like-minded people, delegate, share the responsibility, and it is absolutely worth it. Data from the State Department shows between October 2021 and September 2022, the U.S. admitted more than 25,000 refugees, still far short of the 125,000 they'd allotted for. Now Youngberg says she welcomes any program to boost those numbers, working towards their end goal, helping people resettle in a new home. So that's a lot of what refugee work is, is being trusted with people's stories and helping them pick the next chapter. The Welcome Corps does come with a cost. Sponsors are expected to raise about $2,300 for a refugee's initial resettlement. The State Department is already taking applications on their Welcome Corps website. Live in the newsroom tonight, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. All right, Sarah, thank you.